a bit rainy, but I thought, ah, oh, come out. I'm waiting to do stuff. I've, I've washed the um, uh, bedding of Mickey's, Mickey's bedding. I've washed it with that now. Of course, that meant that loads of hair got into the washing machine, so I'm rinsing that at the moment. I'm gonna have a shower, but I'll wait until all that's done. Yeah, so, cool. I thought I'd pop out. Yeah, you Rather than just sit in the car, for, well, actually, around here, you can see the ground is dry here. This is a patch that really has a lot of protection from the elements, so there'll be some more up here. I'm not sure where to go, actually. I'll continue. I'll continue. I will continue up here. Something good. Well, one thing that um, I was going to speak about earlier, but uh, forgot to, whatever, um, was yesterday. Yeah, got into church and the devil was basically trying to get me to give up on this relationship. So, <laughs> yeah, did I consider it? Yeah, of course, well, of course. Yeah, as I said, like I've said before in other videos, and it's very, very true. Yeah, you know, I said earlier in that one, and it's very, very true that I trust in God absolutely. But, loving someone and not being able to be with them, that is tough. That is really tough. You know, having that love for someone, that love that you know is going to last beyond eternity. <laughs> but then not being able to spend time with that person is just insane. Of course it is. So, yeah. Have any idea of Lord? Yeah, need to know. This needs to be sorted out. Is this really you? You know, because the only one who can really say that is her. Really? Have you put the same one to her? You know, have you put me in her heart in the same way? Need to know today. That, that, that was basically the thing that the devil was trying to get done yesterday. So I give up because, as I say, I don't think she was in church. No, I don't think she was. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, so, anyway. So the situation is, is that quite often, when, we, when there's a situation, oh, this is worse here. Okay, I'm going to go out there. <laughs> Where's less rain? Well, less rain getting through thicker cover. Find a place where it's thicker cover. Right. Now what happens is, you know, on the, I've had two occasions where I've been really struggling, really struggling with things. You know, one, one occasion I said about, um, you know, having to go God in the car for about half an hour. I was far stronger after that, a day later. My relationship with God was in a place that I never expected it to ever be. You know, it got so much better. The next day. It was just, you know, it's like God was saying, I had to break your heart a tiny bit so I could fit more loving. Squeeze a bit more in there, basically. Right. Yeah, so, <laughs> so in the end, yeah, gorgeous it is, you know, and so that's happened on two occasions. And then that occasion yesterday, I was that close. Was I really? I don't know. It, for a second, yeah, for a second, a split second, maybe I was that close. Um, and then today, you know, feeling love for her more than I ever had before. And what is quite weird, I've just, when I drove up here, I suddenly realised, hold it. How on earth do I have any feelings for this woman in any way, shape or form? I spent 20 minutes with her, basically. Well, okay, she was next to me for about an hour and a half. Yeah. Um, but we were talking for about 20 minutes, prayed for a friend, that was it. Um, still haven't seen her face. Didn't see her face on that day. We were outside, but she kept her mask on for some reason. Um, so, okay. But that was three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. And even though it's three weeks ago, you know, the love is still there. Yeah. Still haven't seen her face. 
you haven't seen her smile? Yeah, I've seen the fact she's got smile lines, but I've not seen her smile. Yeah. But that love is still there, and not only still there, it's growing. Yeah. But it's growing based upon what God is showing me, you know, as in what the relationship could end up being. You know, just how incredible that could be. And it's like, right, okay. So it's like God is sharing little bits about her with me. You know, through that, talking about how the relationship is going to be. Yeah? Well, that's cool. Really cool. Aye. Quite exciting. Yeah, it's quite... Yeah, yeah. Weird, isn't it, though? Because it's like... You know, a situation when the dogs were taken, my heart was broken, only for me to end up being in a far better relationship with God than I ever dreamed I could be. You know, in a situation where I'm now walking more according to heaven than I ever was before, so therefore, you know, I'm at peace and I have joy, which I didn't have for all that time. And yet the people that were trying to hurt me, they thought that they'd won. They thought, ha ah, ha, <laughs> we've got your dogs taken away. <laughs> well, yeah, God allowed that for a reason. God allowed that to bring me into something far deeper with him. Yeah. So again, when the enemy thinks they've got you, that's when God says, uh-uh, you haven't. You really haven't. That's why I said earlier, you know, I've been, I've been through that sort of stuff. I've been through the ringer. I've, I've come, you know, to the point so many times where I've been so close to the edge and just come back from it. You know. Yeah. So, it develops character. You know, it means I've endured and that's okay. Yeah. But the point of it is, is that basically what's happened is, is that the works of the enemy, where they're trying to basically take away, instead of taking away, they're bringing me into a position where I've gone from surviving to thriving. Yeah, I'm stepping into thriving when I was, you know, for all those years, just surviving. All those years, just surviving. And now I'm stepping into thriving. Yeah. Yeah, their hatred. Yeah, trying to damage. Has brought me from surviving, which is barely holding on, to a point where I'm now standing firm and starting to thrive now. And that's the point. God allows these sort of things to happen because He's bringing you from that to, you know, as I've said before, quite often what looks like a curse is actually a blessing. But God allows that thing that looks like a curse to bring the blessing and to you know, help you to understand he was in control all the time. He was just allowing them to believe that they were in control to a certain degree. That he was, you know, completely in control of the situation. Yeah. Yeah. That's the point. Now, at the moment, the evidence would suggest, certainly at this very moment in time, that I'm wrong, they're right. Yeah. The evidence would suggest at this moment in time, well, because... Me and vehicle are not together yet. Dogs aren't back yet. Yeah. It doesn't seem as if you know, things have improved greatly, does it, right now? Not when you look at the evidence, not when you look at the... Not when you look at the picture that people can see. 
No. But isn't that where God always is? In an area where everyone's saying, ha ha, we got you. And God's saying, just wait. Just wait. You know, it doesn't say that um, God has seated you at a table and all your enemies are sitting there watching you have a feast. Watching you be the one at the head of the table. But of course they turn up thinking they're going to watch you be destroyed. <laughs> yeah? Pretty much. I imagine that probably is the case. In that story. The enemies all turn up thinking they're going to watch the one they hate be destroyed. They're going to watch him come in and serve them. It's not that way at all. It's the other way around. But of course, yeah. <laughs> Why? I'm going to stand here for a sec because it's slightly dry here than it is at the rest of it. I'll finish off here. One of, the, one of the biggest struggles for Christians is what they can see. That's part of the reason why in so many of the videos I've done recently, I've said about you've got to see it to be able to walk in it. You've got to see yourself in the kingdom. You've got to see yourself having that authority, having that power, having that grace, having that mercy, having that love, etc 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 you'd be able to walk in it if you can't see it you can't walk in it the problem is is that generally speaking people look at here they see here here you can't see very much there you can see a bit more but even then you can't see really your path from that you've got to see it by faith faith is the eyes that you've got to be looking through So what I said before about exercising your faith isn't something you should be doing. To a certain degree it still is. To a certain degree it still is. Because certainly to see what can't be seen, to see the unseen and to, you know, to have faith in that and have hope in that. Yeah. That's not an easy thing to do, is it? You need to exercise your faith to be able to see these things, especially when the thing you need to see is bigger than something you've not seen before. They're bigger than something you've had faith in before. That was unseen. You've got to exercise that faith and you've got to you've got to stretch it a bit, haven't you? Yeah. 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 Well, the last video I said, let's teach him more points in the hymn. You can't achieve any of this, really, without focusing on him. That's the reality. That's, you know, that new little buzz thing that God has put in me. You've got to focus on the Oh, what's it called? Solution. Not the problem. The solution to the unseen is Yeshua. Focus on him and then even the unseen becomes quite within the realm of possibility. Because when you focus on his love, his authority, his power, his grace, his mercy, his position next to the Father, And the fact that, really, you know, God wants to bless his children. Because when God blesses his children, then that blessing spills out to other people. When people see God blessing his children, they want to be part of that, don't they? The thing of it is, is that what God wants to bless you in is something you haven't seen yet. So you need to focus on the Son of God to see that, well, hold it, God gave me him. God gave him for me. 
But if he's going to do that, what can't he do? Is there anything he wouldn't give me? Is there anything that's impossible? No. So focus on Yeshua. Focus on the solution, not the problem. The problem is you can't see it, right? Don't focus on it. Focus on the one you know is there. And yeah, learn from him. Learn from him how to see what is the unseen. Walk in it. Just believe. Yeah. Start believing in the small things and then you know, work your way up to the bigger things. But it's always through him. So there you go. I will end this now. But a quick recap. When the devil thinks or when the, the enemy thinks he's got you. That's when God goes, uh-uh. That's one of mine. I'm going to turn that curse that you intended into a curse into a blessing. So, I Understand that and walk in that. You take care. God bless. Bye-bye.